GIS, Geographic Information Systems, is a tool. And what GIS is, is using data to make maps. All the, the data-centered maps that you see on the news and in newspaper and magazines, all of those are created by a scientist that has used GIS. And the cool thing is that we get to train students to do that, and it's so broad. You can use GIS in political science, you can use it in medicine, you can use it in environmental science. So we offer a master's degree in GIS, and we recently shifted the degree so it's very flexible. So we have an, a completely online program. So if you wanted to come in and take all your classes online, you can do that. We also have a program where you can take some of your classes online and some of them face-to-face -face because some of the students coming in needed to be with a faculty member with the machines and the data to create these maps. You can do the program completely as a non-thesis student, so you just take your classes and there's a final exam and you get your degree. Or you can choose to do a thesis um, with a thesis defense. So getting a master's degree in GIS sets you up for a job. The CDC, the law enforcement, Alabama Law Enforcement Agency, we have our own Alabama Geospatial Office. Most of the political science offices, both federal and state, the IRS will hire GIS people. Anyone that needs data to make a map will hire GIS specialists. Uh, the U.S. Forest Service just sent me three job ads yesterday for needing GIS specialists to map forests, tree distributions, and fire dangers.